Mr. Speaker, at this time I would like to uh, yield such time as she may consume to the uh, gentlewoman from Minnesota, who is also a member of the Financial Insti uh, uh, Services Committee, Mrs. Bachman. Gentlewoman from Minnesota is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you also to Mr. Baca of California for sponsoring this legislation. It's very important. Thank you for being so persistent in seeking 406 co-sponsors of your legislation, and also to Mrs. Biggert as well for her timely remarks. Mr. Speaker, I rise with regard to House File 406 honoring the early suffragist Alice Paul who worked hard to provide better treatment for American women in our legal and in our political system. As the Congressional Chairman of the National American Women's Suffrage Association in Washington, D.C., Alice Paul performed a crit critical role in persuading Congress to pass the 19th Amendment, which guaranteed American women the right to vote. She later stated that her work in passing in this amendment was the greatest thing I ever did. Alice Paul is rightly venerated by American feminists, but few recall her work to also expose the effects of legalized abortion as the ultimate exploitation of women. In fact, toward the end of her great career, Alice Paul grew frustrated with America's women's rights movement as it drifted away from its original mission of advocating for a better life for American women and in favor of legislation for abortion. Alice Paul was highly critical of this shift, and she harbored grave reservations about abortion on demand. Mr. Speaker, I encourage you and my colleagues to join me in honoring this courageous woman's career in its entirety. May this deliberative body take heart, to heart, her views on women's rights and its incompatibility with legalized abortion. I thank both Mr. Baca and Mrs. Biggert for sponsoring this legislation, and I yield back. Sugar